Okay, so uh, recorded recording is started there, yeah? and this is my whiteboard. And uh, yeah, actually I have not write anything in a whiteboard. Yeah, okay. So we start with the CTE. Yeah, and uh, this CTE is a uh, unique uh, only for the Microsoft uh, TSQL. So uh, it does not exist in the other uh, database product such as Oracle or others. Yeah? This CTE is, uh, only works uh, in the Microsoft environment. Okay, let's uh, see uh, the CTE. I close uh, this one first. Okay, so CTE is a, a way of uh, creating temporary table using the code yeah, or SQL query. And then after that, uh, this uh, CTE can be used uh, if uh, your other statement is uh, in the same execution batch. Yeah, For example, like this. Yeah? The CTE is started with a width. Yeah? Width, yeah? product by category product ID, product name, category, as this one, yeah. So this is a defining the temporary table. Okay, then uh, what do you want to do with this? Then uh, you follow with the, the query here. So this is uh, the syntax that uh, creating the temporary table and uh, the action that you want to do must be executed in the same query like this. Yeah. So for example, you just run this one. I run it there. Yeah. And then uh, I run, yeah, this one is uh, does not uh, complete, yeah, okay, so because uh, it should have the uh, closing, yep, so here, uh, run, yeah, so you can see that uh, it does not uh, complete, yeah, it cannot be run separately. And uh, this one, yeah, when you run, also will generate an error because, uh, we don't have the this table, yeah. So this table, the products by category, is uh, created uh, here from this uh, statement, yeah. So started with the width, then the product uh, by category is a table name. This is a column name, yeah, and this is the select. Okay, so you can run with uh, this together. Okay, yeah. So uh. The common table expression is the uh, unique, uh, only works uh, in the Microsoft uh, SQL Server. This is the definition of the table. Yeah, started with the width. Yeah, and then after that, uh, what do you want to do with the that uh, table? You do it here. Okay. Can we try to create a separate uh, 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 or a different uh, example? Yeah. So for example, this is a. Uh, uh, Product, yeah. Uh, we're going to uh, create the CTE with the customer table. Yeah. So the syntax is a with table name and then a bracket column name and then as. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's uh, practice to create the separate example. Using the CTE. Yeah. Connect to the same. Okay, so here in the customer table, for example, I have the column, customer ID, and then first name, middle name, last name, company name. Yeah, okay. So with, yeah, remember, yeah, after that, the uh, as after that follow by the bracket yeah, like this hmm. okay this is the CTE expression okay 
So you follow the width with the table name, yeah. For example, temp or a CTE customer. Okay, and then after that, the, this is the column name. Yeah, you want to include the customer ID. Okay, after that, the comma. Yeah, and then the first name, comma, last name. Okay, yeah, then uh, S. Yeah, select. Customer ID, comma, first name. Of course, uh, it's not uh, limited only simple thing you can do here. You can also do many other things, yeah. And then the uh, last name, yeah. You can uh, join, yeah, or anything, yeah. Then after that, uh, that's uh, what you want to do here, yeah. So you already created a new table. And uh, the table name is uh, this one and this column name. Yeah. For example, I would like to uh, select. Okay. And then after that, uh, this. Uh, you can uh, change this. Yeah. I, I show you later. Yeah. So uh, select the uh, first name. And then after that, the plus. And then plus last name as a full name, yeah. Like this, yeah. This is already city with table name, column name, yeah. Then as, yeah. Okay. So run. Oh, sorry. From <laughs> I forgot the from. Yeah, from. This is the new table. Uh, where are okay? This one also forgot from, yeah, from the says LT customer. Okay, yep. So this one you can uh, rename to other name, yeah, because a uh, customer ID. So this is actually mapped to here. This is the first column, this is the second column, this is the third column. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, I think I can uh, change this to the other name. Yeah. For example, I just change to the uh, cast number. Yeah. And then uh, I put the uh, F uh, first uh, or F name. Yeah. And then after that, the L name like this. Then uh, now I change this to the uh, the new column name. Yeah. Cast number. And then F name. Sorry, F name. Yeah. Uh, cast number. Comma. F name. And then uh, L name. Yeah, as full name. Okay, so uh, that's the, uh, yep, so we already changed the column name. Mm, okay, yeah. So, this one is useful, yeah, when you want to create a temporary table. And uh, again, I mentioned to you that uh, not just a simple query, it could be a sub-query, it could be something that uh, more complicated yeah, in the CTE here okay okay uh, let's uh, look at the so remember yeah the CTE works uh, in a Microsoft uh, query so SQL Server database but uh, it didn't uh, works uh, in the other database okay uh, yeah so uh, another uh, example is uh, using the CTE is to recursive. Yeah? Recursive is meaning query and then after that uh, inside the query. So uh, we have the uh, 
sales LT employee. Okay, we need to create the employee table first. Okay, wait. Huh? Okay, uh, not this employee. Okay, one moment. There is a one a step to create the employee table. One moment, yeah. It is uh, under the Okay, I think this one. Yeah, here. This is the syntax to create the temporary table. Uh, yeah. To create the sales uh, uh, LT employee table. Okay, I just copy this. Uh, last time we did already when we learned about the self join. So I copy here and then after that uh, run. This uh, command is uh, to create the table named sales LT employee. Yeah. It's uh, different from this. Yeah. To avoid the uh, to avoid the confusion, then I just drop this table. Okay. Yeah, this is drop table. Yeah? Drop table, employ. Run this. Okay, so try to refresh. Then the DBO employee already uh, gone. Yeah? So we're going to create a sales LT employee. Yeah, here you go. We create a employee table. So run. If I run it. Yeah, okay. Successfully. Yeah? So we scrap, uh, we refresh. Yeah, so here. It's already there. Yeah. Says LT employee. And then uh, if you run, select star from sales LT employee. Like this. Run. Okay. So we have already this uh, employee ID, employee name, and a uh, manager ID. Okay, let's go back to the uh, previous query, which is recursive query. So uh, we run this one. Yeah, we uh, have uh, seen the result, the list of the employee. Okay, yeah. Then after that, uh, we would like to uh, create the recursion. Yeah, so like for example, here I have the employee number seven. Yeah, so employee number seven is Michael. And then uh, Michael report to manager number nine, yeah, which is the shoe. Yeah, shoe report to manager number three, yeah, which is the J. Yeah, then a J is the boss. Yeah, he does not uh, uh, he does not report to anyone. Yeah, so we want to recursively uh, display the who report to who. Yeah, okay. So uh, here I'm going to create a, a table name Oak report, yeah, which contains the for column manager ID, employee ID, employee name, and uh, level. So last time we used the self join, but self join is only two level only. Yeah. So here we have the uh, information that uh, can up to the three regression. Yeah. So just now, number one is a J. 
he does not report to anyone else. Yeah. And then after that, uh, this uh, manager, uh, sorry, the Chilean. Yeah. So Chilean uh, report to manager ID number three. Yeah. And then uh, uh, employee ID number three is the this J. Yeah. Is that he does not report to anyone. So you see here, this is a level. Yeah. So the level is uh, level zero, the top uh, CEO, yeah. and then level one, director maybe, yeah, or C-level, and then number two, the manager, and then number three is the staff. Yeah. So uh, this is useful for something like this. Yeah. So you don't need to create a temporary table uh, uh, using the like a hex or the add sign, but uh, you can use the CTE. Okay, just a reminder again that the CDE is only supported uh, in the Microsoft uh, database uh, environment, not supported in the other platform. Okay, so that's uh, to conclude the, the topics about the subquery and then also view, temporary table, and uh, uh, this is part of the This one, yeah, direct table, temp table, table value function. Any questions so far? If not, then I'm going to continue with the grouping set and a pivot. Okay, so uh, grouping set, yeah, so let's continue grouping set. Okay, sometimes yeah, when you uh, display the query, you would like to have the kind of the subtotal yeah, in the query. Okay, so if you don't use uh, any of the grouping, yeah, so here, uh, this is a normal one, yeah. Okay, if you don't use a group, yeah, so I have a, uh, Nah, like this, yeah. So I just copy this query. Okay, this is uh, without grouping. Okay, without grouping. Uh, okay. okay, this is wrong. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, this one is without grouping. Yeah, the query is like this. Showing you the parent product category name and then uh, product, uh, product category name, product ID. Okay, so this is a sample of the product ID, then uh, the category and the parent product category. So what is another example? Another example is, uh, for example, uh, in a supermarket, uh, you want to uh, buy uh, some product like uh, peanut. Yeah, okay. So uh, product ID is a uh, peanut uh, brand, yeah, hand brand. Yeah, you you saw that uh, the the thumb, yeah, the red uh, package. Yeah, this is a category as a snack. A snack. Okay, and then a snack is a. The parent category is a food. Okay, yeah, so the hand brand uh, uh, peanut and then the uh, category is a uh, snack and then the snack is a uh, part of the uh, category, uh, parent category of uh, food, yeah, like that. This one is uh, the bicycle uh, accessories, yeah. So product ID 876, uh, uh, it is a uh, category bike racks and then uh, as part of the accessories, okay. So we would like to see how many items yeah, per category. Okay, 
So how many items? Like uh, this one, pack racks one, yeah, pack stand uh, one, and then a uh, portal and cages, yeah, three, cleaners one, okay, and so on. So I include the group by cube, okay, okay. I I start from the the, the top, yeah, the top first. So first is a uh, group by the uh, Follow by the parent product category name. Yeah, okay. So I run this query. Okay, now you can see uh, there is a one column uh, on the right, yeah, which is uh, how many products are in this category. Okay. And uh, if you scroll down, yeah, then uh, yeah, you see uh, each uh, row, it has the count how many products okay sometimes uh, we would like to add the uh, subtotal yeah for uh, each uh, product yeah so i remove this then after that uh, i open this one yeah group by grouping set okay so group by grouping set and then uh, the column name yeah i want to group by grouping set uh, this uh, parent category name and the product category name. So uh, we run again this query. Okay, now you can see that uh, on the uh, additional uh, uh, output of the query, I have for uh, this, yeah. So uh, each uh, product category name, we will be given the count, how many, yeah. And then also in a total, yeah, in a total. Okay. So if you notice, uh, previously, one moment, yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> ah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, before we add the grouping set, let's go back again. Okay, this one is a before you add the grouping set. So, total 37 rows, yeah, 37 rows. Okay, now, I change to the group by grouping set. Yeah, just not 37, yeah, you saw. Okay, so I have the 42 rows, and then uh, this is basically uh, adding the 5 rows, yeah, accessory, bikes, clothing, component, yeah, per parent category name, yeah, and then the top one is uh, for everything else, yeah, so if you add up total, yeah, 29 plus 97 plus 35 plus 134 uh, is equal to this one. 295 yeah so this is a grand total of the all product how many and then uh, this is the per parent category name and uh, this is per product category name yeah so pip short the three bike racks one pack stand one yeah so each uh, product category name we have the subtotal how many product and then a uh, per parent category name there are four, yeah. Then uh, we also have uh, this uh, total, and then uh, overall grand total we have the 295. Yeah, this is uh, exactly the same as uh, the first query without grouping. Yeah, we have a uh, 295 rows here. Okay, yeah. Now let's look uh, at the uh, what the this uh, roll up yeah what is roll up yeah roll up is a uh, just know uh, the subtotal you saw that uh, on the below here yeah in the uh, 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 additional row uh, on the bottom yeah so this one is a uh, roll up yeah roll up is a different position yeah you see here 
grand total 295 yeah then uh, accessories 29 yeah the subtotal is uh, put the uh, in the first row of uh, each grouping yeah so 29 consists of the 1 1 3 1 1 3 like that yeah okay so if you add up all this 11 2 1 1 3 all together is the uh, 29 so you have the subtotal display on the earliest row of this uh, grouping yeah then here 97 yeah bike yeah so 32 plus 43 plus 22 yeah is the uh, 97 yeah <coughs> So you count 32 plus 43 is a 75. 75 plus 22 is a 97. The same thing with this, yeah. So a 3 plus 1 plus 6 plus 6 plus 8, 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus a 3 again is a 35, yeah. Okay, and so on. So the difference between the previous one, this roll up is a displaying the subtotal in the earliest row of that group yeah, the position is uh, at the beginning of the group roll up yeah. now let's see by cube okay so if it is by group uh, by cube yeah <coughs> so this is a grand total and then after that uh, this is the by category name okay and then after that uh, uh, it give you the this uh, accessories yeah so it is it has a more for uh, it has a more subtotal yeah or not only per category but also for parent category name okay so this is just basically of uh, how you want to display the result of your query including the subtotal when you have the group by so all of this uh, must have the group by yeah okay let's look there at the second one pivot table yeah what is pivot table pivot table is basically uh, converting or transforming the table from the row become column and then the column become row Okay, this is a column, this is row. So if uh, we pivot, okay, so from the four row, three column, it become a three row and then four column. Okay. First is uh, four times three, then becomes the uh, three times four. Or when you learn matrix, that's uh, also we call it as a transpose, yeah, transpose private. Okay, <clears throat> let's uh, look at uh, here. This is a query, yeah. <clears throat> so you can see the original query, yeah, is a product ID, name, and then color. So what I would like to display is uh, the color, silver, black, uh, it is uh, in the column. Yeah, so I have the product, then the color is a black, silver, and uh, so on. 
So I would like to pivot the color. This is original table yeah, before you do the pivot. Okay. Okay. So after you pivot, then uh, you have this uh, the product uh, name. Yeah. And then uh, the color is uh, put on the column. Red, the blue, black, silver. Of course, uh, some uh, product does not have that color. Then uh, they put the uh, zero. Okay. So remember, this is the original table. So it has the uh, the. Yeah, PPC pivot count order by name. Yeah, the name is a product category name. Okay, so we would like to display the product category name and then the color and then how many? Yeah, how many of the products exist? So this uh, using the pivot. Yeah, we pivot then become like this red, blue, black, silver. Yeah, okay, so. <clears throat> Unpivot is uh, basically returning back. Yeah, the table that uh, have already been uh, pivoted. Yeah, and then after that, uh, you want to unpivot. Okay, for this demonstration, we create a temporary table with a hex. Yeah? So remember, what is the meaning of this? This is the sign of the temporary table that you store in the memory. It will be stay as long as uh, your session is uh, alive. But uh, when you log off from the server, then this will be erased. Yeah. Okay. So I create a table name a uh, product uh, color pivot with uh, this uh, query. Okay. I run this one. So now I have already created temporary table. I can check. Yeah. Test. Yeah. What is the column structure? Select star. ROM. This one. Okay, run. Okay, so you see here, this is the output. Yeah. Name, and then red, blue, black, silver, yellow. Okay, currently it's still empty. Now we're going to run the command, the query to insert the into the empty table. Yeah, using the insert into. This we're going to discuss in the next topics. Yeah, insert and update. Also delete. Okay, so uh, <coughs> insert into this yeah by running this query. So now I already populated the 37 rows. So you test again. What is the content, the, the, the temporary table after you run the insert? Okay, I have this, uh, yeah, this uh, pivot table. So now I would like to return back yeah, from the pivot into the previous table, original table. So we call it as a unpivot. Okay, unpivot, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so this temporary table already pivoted and then uh, we would like to unpivot, yeah, to return back into the row format. Okay, yeah, so you learn about the, uh, the syntax, yeah. Okay, let's see here another example. Create table, sales by quarter. So quarter meaning every year you have the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, yeah. Then uh, after you create temporary table, you select, yeah. Star, ROM, 
this we check the empty table okay uh, wait ah this one yeah empty yeah then uh, we populate yeah with this value one two three four yeah so uh, this is the row now you run again the query it already has uh, this yeah now you want to bring back this uh, q1 q2 q3 q4 as a row so you use a uh, and before Okay, so now back to the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Okay, uh, that's the uh, pivot and uh, unpivot. Yeah. Okay, so for the first session this morning, I think that uh, uh, enough, and I would like to make use the five minutes yeah, to explain to you what you need to do yeah to practice okay to practice in the folder that i already share with you there is a lab okay uh, this lab is a lab one lab two lab three okay there are 11 lab so you can go through this <clears throat> for example uh coding trans uh, trans with transact sql okay retrieve the customer detail yeah okay Okay, so if you already uh, join the EDX, Okay, so when you uh, already uh, join with the EDX, Okay, from uh, VJS3, is the grouping for function? No, grouping is a, basically just a, a subtotaling your query. Yeah? Instead of a row by row, you want to group by something like a sales by the salesperson or the sales by branch, yeah? customer by branch, customer by city. Yeah? That's the purpose of the grouping. And then uh, instead of uh, just uh, displaying the count then you want to create the subtotal yeah yeah thank you uh okay so I think uh, I forgot the, what the okay. Anyway, if uh, you already have uh, log on to the DAT two zero one X, yeah, then uh, I forgot last time what was the link, yeah. But uh, there are some exercises, yeah, MCQ, yeah, which is uh, based on this. Okay, you can do the lab, uh, lab one, lab two, lab three, following this uh, syntax. Yeah? And uh, if you have a problem, then uh, you go to YouTube, my channel. I already recorded the lab solution. Okay. So you go to the, uh, my YouTube channel. Yeah? Then uh, look for the playlist DAT201. 
okay then uh, here you have the mm. Ah, this one. Oops, sorry. Below. Ah, this one. Okay. So you have the lab one, lab two, lab three. Yeah. Some lab just uh, last time I created without sound. Yeah, but uh, I try to find a time. If uh, I have time, then I will redo again with the uh, audio. Okay. So lab one, lab two, lab three. Yeah. So the solution is here. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the session is going to end soon. Yeah. If uh, you have not uh, subscribed, yeah, you can subscribe uh, to my channel. Okay. Uh, any questions before I stop this? Uh, and then uh, we're going to continue again. Yeah, at the uh, nine fifty-five. Yeah, so uh, nine fifty-five log on, then we start at the ten o'clock. Okay, just now I heard some uh, messages. Yeah, okay, Juni already. Okay, good. Yeah, so everything is already shared in the share folder. Okay. So remember, uh, we uh, stop now. You can join. You can log on again at uh, nine fifty-five, and I'm going to start at the ten o'clock. Yep. Okay. See you later. Okay, so this is the plan, yeah? Stop for now, log on at 9.55 and start at uh, 10 o'clock. Okay, here you go.